In his new book, Kosher Jesus, Shmuley Boteak argues that Jesus died and was buried. The Jesus movement was on its last legs until Paul came on the scene, preaching some new crackpot revelation about Jesus. In defense of his own teacher's words, Paul preaches a total break from the Torah's principles. More and more Gentiles embrace the new belief-based religion. As much as the old disciples would like to distance themselves from the strangers' new ways, they found they cannot. He has brought new life to their dying movement, injecting new blood and new funds. The rabbi's disciples have long suffered in extreme poverty, and the Roman converts came with gold. When I was reading through a book on evangelism by Early and Wheeler, I noticed a passage about the martyrdom of Jesus' apostles, you know the one supposedly enticed by gold. Stephen was stoned to death about AD 34. James, the brother of John, was beheaded about AD 44. Philip was scourged, thrown into prison, and afterwards crucified around AD 54. Matthew suffered martyrdom by the sword around AD 60. James, the brother of Jesus, was beaten, stoned, and had his brains bashed out with a club. Matthias was stoned at Jerusalem and then beheaded. Andrew was arrested and crucified on a cross, two ends of which were fixed transversely in the ground. Mark was dragged to pieces by people of Alexandria in front of Serapis, their pagan idol. Peter was crucified upside down. Paul gave his neck to the sword, around 64. Bartholomew was beaten and crucified in India. Thomas was thrust through with a spear by pagan priests. Luke was hanged on an olive tree in Greece. Jude, the half-brother of Jesus, was crucified in Edessa, around AD 72. If the original disciples were willing to lie about their master's fate and embrace some new teaching by Paul because of material gain, at what point did they realize this wasn't working? Early Christianity was a very dangerous religion to embrace. Once it ceased to be recognized by the Roman government as a branch of the protected religion of Judaism, the persecutions and mass executions began, and did not stop until shortly after the year 300. The time from the earliest apostles martyrdom until the last is about 40 years. Generally, conspiracies only last until a key member is caught and interrogated. Martyrdom, on the other hand, is a sign that the martyrs believe what they are dying for. Liars make terrible martyrs. However, the disciples of Jesus, on Shmuley's account, if Shmuley is right, those disciples would have known Paul's gospel was a lie firsthand. How do you explain the willingness of the apostles to die for this faith? I would expect at least one of these apostles to just admit that the scandal was there and save his life. It would be quite profitable for an apostle to save his life by turning on the early church and exposing the fraud to the Romans who wanted to wipe out Christianity. But of course, this is Shmuley's work. You didn't think he would let something like plausibility get in the way of a good story, do you? Shalom Aleichem.